Students, it's my pleasure to meet you again. Let's go to our, our final revision two to revise about some trig and geometry also. Okay, it says, this is final revision two. Okay, here is final revision two. We will complete our questions. So concentrate with us. This is final revision two and we will complete directly the questions here. We arrived to the number 12, the last episode, and we will contain, continue number 13 here. What about uh, number 13? If theta is from zero before 360 directly, and we know that cosine theta plus one equals zero, then theta, which is the solution of the equation, equals what? Is it 90, 180, 270, or 360? Okay, cosine theta plus one, we can write it as it is. Cosine theta plus one equals zero. And we write it cosine theta equals negative one. And we know that from unit circle, we know that if we draw unit circle here, and unit circle means that its radius equals one. So we have here the center of the circle, and this is one, 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 one. So the point here will be one and zero, because x is one and y is equal zero. And here also zero and one. And here the point will be negative one and zero. And here the point, of course, equals zero and negative one. And we know that the angles here, here is zero. Here is 90 degrees, here is uh, 180 degrees, 270 degrees, and also here 360 or 0 degrees. So, when cosine theta equals negative 1, we know that cosine means the first coordinate here. This is x and also cosine. Cosine here is 0, cosine here is negative 1, cosine here is, one, uh, is 0, and we know that 0 is sine theta. Sine theta here is 1, sine theta here is 0, sine theta here is negative 1. So where cosine theta equal negative 1? Cosine equal negative 1 here in 180 degree. So theta equals 180 degrees. And the answer, of course, will be the letter B at 180 degrees. Let's move directly to the number 14. We have here cosec theta minus one equals zero. And theta starts from zero until 360 open interval. Okay, what about theta? We know that, uh, her number 14, we know that cosec theta means one over sine theta. It is equal one. And if we have the reciprocal of 1 over sine theta equals 1, it means that sine theta equals 1 over 1, it's 1 also. So where sine theta will be 1? Let's move here to the unit circle and uh, try to find out the uh, answer. Sine theta, which is the second coordinate here, is 0. Here is 1. So the answer will be 1 here and this point or this angle here will be 90. So theta equal 90 degrees. So the answer will be 90 and it's B. Okay, let's move to the second question. Okay, we have here, we have many questions for you. So let's move directly to the question here. We have question number 15. Okay, the question is, the solution set of the equation, root three tan, one, tan theta equals one. The theta include between 90 and 270. So you will start from the second quadrant to uh, third quadrant also. The solution set, is it 30, 150, 210, or 240? Okay, let's start to explain it. 
we have here root three tan equals one. So we can say that tan theta equals one over root three. When we use calculator, we will write shift, shift tan one over root three. And the answer directly equals 30. But we know that here, 10 here is positive. And if we draw the fourth quadrant, this is the first, second, third, fourth quadrant. And uh, we say that alpha, which uh, we find it with calculator, equals 30. Let it alpha, not theta. And we know that 10 is positive diagonally here in the first and third quadrant. First quadrant, theta will be equal to alpha, is it, it is, is it? So it's 30 degrees. But here, we know that equals 180 plus alpha will give theta itself. So theta here equals 180 plus 30, so the answer equal 210. So the solution set here, we can say it equals 210. Where is it? It's letter C here. Okay. We have also number 16. This question is to find solution set of the equation sine theta plus cosine theta equals zero, and theta include between 180 and 360. Okay, so it's start from the third and fourth quadrant um, uh, only. What about sine plus cosine? It's problem. We have here sine and plus cosine equals zero. Try to be one, um, one function also. So we can say that sine theta plus cosine theta equals zero, we can divide them, all of them, by sine theta. What will happen if we divide them by sine theta here? Sine divided by sine, of course, equals one, and cosine divided by sine will be cotan theta, of course, equals zero. Okay, so we can say that cotan theta equals negative one to transfer one here. Cotan theta, we can find reciprocal of it over one over one. If we find reciprocal, will be tan theta equals negative one also. And we know tan is negative in this part here, the second and fourth quadrant. We will concentrate about force because here he said that theta include between 180 to uh, 360 and this part means third or fourth. So it's fourth. Here if we say 10 negative shift 10 negative 1 um, if we use your calculator shift 10 negative one, the answer will be 45. So alpha here equal 45 degrees. But we have here in the fourth quadrant. So we write 360 minus 45. And the answer, of course, will be 315. So solution set here. 315. Where is it? It's here now. It's D response. So it's D and 315. Let's move that E2 cotan theta equals 1, which is number uh, 17. We have here cotan theta equals 1. We can write it as 10 theta equals 1 also. And of course, theta alpha. If we use shift 10 1 in your calculator, shift 10 1, it will be 45, let it alpha. And this is from 0 before pi. 
And we know that 10 is here positive because this is positive number. So concentrate about positive part. But, but the third quadrant here, uh, we haven't it because he said that theta will mean or start from zero before and before pi, which is first or second. So we will start with, with first quadrant and the answer will be directly theta equals 45 which is alpha, so the answer will be B. Okay, let's move to the next question. Here, number 18, find solution set of sine theta, okay, sine theta, cotan theta equals half. And theta is included between or start from zero and before pi to two directly. Okay. Number 18 here. Sine theta as it is. And we can expand cotan theta to be cosine theta over sine theta equals what? Equals half. Okay. And we can cancel sine with sine. So it remains cosine theta equals half. By using your calculator, uh, you can find out that theta equals uh, alpha. And we know that here, this is the first, second, third, and fourth quadrant. We know that cosine is positive in this part, which is first and fourth. But we have here theta between uh, from zero to before pi over two directly or before 90 directly. So we have in this part, we have this part also. And alpha here, if it is equal 60 degrees, so theta equals alpha equals 60 degrees because all of them in the first quadrant. And we know that 60 degrees is pi over three. Someone asked why equal pi over 3 because 60 multiplied by over 180 to confirm it or to transform it uh, into from degrees to uh, red, it will be pi over 3. So the answer equal pi over 3 and B. Let's move to number 19. He asked us about this set of Sine power 2 plus 1 equals 0. And theta from 0 and before pi directly. What? It's 90, 0, 180, or 5. Okay. Number 19 here. We took about sine power 2 theta equals negative 1. And the intelligent students say, how can a number power 2 equal negative? It's impossible. So directly, we will choose phi. It's an intelligent answer and an intelligent question. So the answer equal D and equal phi. Let's move to number 20. Two cosine theta plus one equals zero, then theta equals what? Is it 220, 240, 300, or 330? Okay, let's say that two cosine theta equals negative one and of course, cosine theta here equals negative half. So, theta or cosine here is negative. Cosine negative in what quadrant? Cosine negative in second and third quadrant. And if we have, al have alpha here, from uh, calculating it by using calculator, we press shift button, then Cosine, then half, and ignore negative, because negative, you can put it here. It uh, can be in the second quadrant or third quadrant. If we alpha, which we have it from your calculator, alpha here will be um, 120 or 60, sorry. Alpha will be 60 degrees. And here, we put 180 minus this alpha, 
and this 180 plus alpha, which is 60. So we have two answers. We have 120 degree over, we had 0, 6 plus 8, 4, 200. Looking to this solution set, it will be, which is 240, because there is no 120 here. It's one of the solutions, one of the right solutions, but there is no option here equal 120. So we'll choose the second option, which is 240. Okay, we have the question number 21 here. My dear students, we have many questions to revise mainly about the uh, trig. I know that trig, uh, some of you uh, consider it difficult, but now with this revision, it will be in inshallah. So let's move to the question number 21. The question asked about the general solution of tan theta equals one over root three. Tan here is positive. And we know tan is positive in the first and third quadrant. And by using calculator, if you press shift tan one over root three, then the answer equal alpha equal 60 degrees, okay? But we know that this point, which is 60, can go round here and return again to this part and so on, move many circles and we have the same terminal uh, side. So the general solution here will be 60 plus n pi, okay? n pi, that because, as we said before in explaining 10, 10 is like that. It's drawn here, and its period is 180 degrees only. We have here zero, this is negative pi over two, and this is pi over two and 10 will be this part, okay? So we put n pi plus 60. We can write it as pi over three instead of 60 here in red way plus n pi. So the general solution here will be pi over six plus n pi. Okay, let's move directly to 22 question. General equation of cosine theta equals half. If we put shift uh, uh, cosine half, the answer directly will be 60 also, or pi over three, okay? And we know that the general solution will be uh, negative pi over three, or positive pi over three, plus two in the pi. Okay, we write positive or negative or negative for positive is right. So the answer will be two in the pi plus or minus pi over three. It is uh, exchange here, it's not matter. Okay, general solution of cotam pi over two minus theta equals root three. Cotam pi over two minus theta, we know that, that it is 10 theta equals root three. By using calculator, shift 10 root three will be number 23 here, will be 60 also, and general solution will be pi over three plus n pi. Okay, my dear students, I am pleasure to be with you today. We have the second revision in the and until we meet again, Stay home and be safe, be happy, goodbye and good luck.